Yo, yo. Do what you do, man. Hey, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Real Talk Podcast. I'm your host, Bruce. I'm here with my man, E, man. What's going on this week? How you doing, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Good, man. Another day, another week. That's it, man. Another year above ground. You know what I'm saying? Bills, <laughs> thrills, and the chills, That's man. what it. That's all right, man. <laughs> you threw that That's at it, me. Man. I'm like, yo. That's it. Bills, I like that, thrills, man. Thrills. And the chill. <laughs> That's what it is, man. That's a yo, man. I might make that the topic. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. But you know, uh, like you know, going into it, it's funny because I started off with that, man. Bills, thrills, mm-hmm. and the chill. But in the midst of all of that, one thing that gets lost often is when people try to take things into their own hands and they come at it with their own uh, their own approach. Everybody has a different stylistic approach to everything. Right. In life That's that's you know That's how we find Our movement You know In a in the grander scheme Of it all But what happens When um When you trying to find Your Your movement Or you trying to find Your uh You know Find your way Right In the grander scheme And then What happens is You know uh You start to think To yourself You like uh You know what man This is wrong Not because Not because it appears to be flawed, but it's wrong because it's not being done how you would have did it. Mm. Or it's not being done how you feel it should be done. All right, bro. That's the story of my life. So, bro, this takes me to something that I want to talk about this morning. What I want to talk about is this here, man. Um, I'm going to talk about this God complex that exists. Within this world Within our society And um, how it can spread like a cancer And the interesting thing about this God complex is You know, who's ever functioning under this umbrella A lot of times they don't see the wrong in which they're doing They wouldn't Because they're so busy being um, They're so busy being distracted by what you're doing Or what's not being done how they should mm-hmm. feel it, it it's not being done how they feel it should be done. <clears throat> I feel that. <clears throat> um, one thing I want to get one one thing I want to get at is you know within. Okay, so let's talk about this here. Certain dynamics that exist in this world. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the things that that look right. Diversity, it looks right. It functions freely. It's almost like it's almost like energy. Right. Which energy can be destroyed. It can't be destroyed. You know. Energy energy is gonna always energy is gonna always exist. Uh, what got me to think about a lot of this stuff is like for example, the uh the harsh realities that do exist and why they've come into being. Mm-hmm. And one thing that I do I wanna um focus on is uh you think about this, man. Racism, right? Right. Racism is one of the most cruel, um, heinous, one of the most ugliest things that can exist, right? But what's the difference between racism and then what's the difference between bigotry? Hmm. That's a good question, dog. What is big- bigotry? Explain that to me. Well, look that up real quick, brother. Dear brother (laughs) Let me see what's going on with that Unreasonable attachment to a belief, opinion, or faction In particular judgment against a person or people On the basis of their membership or of a particular group An example would be preventing a qualified candidate from getting a job or promotion Because of bigotry views of their race Okay Intolerance, devotion to one's own opinions and prejudice Okay So With that being said So What's the difference Between racism and that Mm, Let's see It says Racist Is a specific type of bigotry Uh, So that's it It's a specific bigotry Mm -hmm. So bigotry In a sense Is Is Directed towards Like a specific uh, It's plural Right and racism is singular. Mm-hmm. We're under the umbrella of bigotry. Right. So, right. Um, read bigotry one more time for me. It's something I'm going to pull out of that. Yeah. Uh, so, this one says bigot. Bigotry or bigot? 
Which one? Uh, try bigot. Bigot, a person who is intolerant or hateful towards people whom race, ethics, religion, gender, or sexual orientation is different from the person that I own. I remember now. And it was prejudice. 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 So, look up prejudice for me. There's a preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. Right. Mm-hmm. So I guess the two that we need to be looking at and examining closely is what prejudice and bigot. Right. So those two mm -hmm. in the world that we live in is many that will fall under the umbrella of showing a extreme, a extreme um, display of prejudice, and then certain people will fall under the umbrella of showing extreme. Sense of bigotry Right Now Let me ask you a question Let's just say man This God complex We talking about a God complex here Let's just say that Racism never existed How do mm -hmm. you think the world would be? Never existed? Um Hmm It probably I feel like it would be Some type of Different Like separating factor Whether it be tall Short You know what I'm saying Strong Weak Skinny, fat, like it's gonna be t some type of uh, separation. And you know the interesting thing about this, and this is crazy when you look at it from the from you know a bigger picture. That's why you can't try to understand the world we live in in today's generation, where you got so many people trying to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Think about this for a second, now. So many people trying to do the same thing, trying to look like you know the next person. Want to get their face done just like the next person. Want to? <clears throat> they want to lose that portion of themselves that makes them an individual right. and makes them who they are, who made them who they were meant to be. Mm -hmm. They want to lose that though. But then also, look at the world even bigger on a larger scale, and. If racism never existed, then we'll find a way. See, that's what it's almost like everything, whether right or wrong, when things when things start to get shifted one way or the other, the natural balance always states that it's going to always come back around. What I mean by that is if racism never even existed, you said it yourself, we'll find a way to to separate right. ourselves because at the end of the day it's really important to be an individual so we'll find a way to try to even if everybody had the same if everybody had the same god forbid if everybody wore the same face <laughs> right if everybody wore the same <laughs> face but everything else still was subject to change long wait, hair short hair Beard, no height. beard Yeah, stuff like that Then all of a sudden You will have the beards Probably start coming together right, Or right, you right. might even have Dissension within the beard club Like man, look at your beard Your beard don't even look It don't look like my beard <laughs> Right, 100% You know what I'm saying? You got so to it's, have yeah, the bar You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Well, I'm rocking just straight stash Yeah, yeah you, know you, know you got a uh, Yeah, you got a Yeah, uh, uh, you got a uh, what they call it a, a chop Right You got right. the chop <laughs> Man, ain't nobody messing with Chin that Chin strap Yeah, all you know that yeah. yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. It's always ways we look at just, we look at trying to, the more things, the more things change, the more things stay the same. Hmm. That's a state, you know, that's a, that's a quote, man. but it holds a lot of, it, it holds a lot of truth. That's so true, man. Because really again, does. what people could be fighting, uh, you know, we, we fighting for, we, we fighting for, you know, the, uh, in in a sense of humanity, the relation, the relationship among the people aren't always with it. You know, it's not always what it should be. Right. Because we focused on color, mm -hmm. but then really and truly, color is still high in the the, the deep rooted issue that exists. And the deep rooted issue that exists is within. So within the skin. So we focus on the outward. The skin is the outward. You know, manif uh, manifestation of whatever, whatever is going on within us. Right. So the stuff that's within, the in fit, 
the infant. I don't even know where I'm going at with this, but the infant, the infant had to come from within. Right. But really, we talking about right now in in from from what we're talking about, the infant. We're gonna say that that's that's what's within. And the outfit is what we put on the master issue, the situation. It's like that's that's the quick what we feel. Oh, that's the cover. Up. I, I I throw a little makeup on. Don't worry about it. They'll never see they never see this bruise on my face. Right. But although they may never see the bruise that's on the face, you still you every time you look at the face, it's like now you can see through the makeup because what's within is the pain from I don't believe this joker hit me. That's the the infant that you dealing with. Man. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's like your your inner person is having a fit, the in fit. That's crazy that you said that, man. Um, my bad. I go cut ahead, you go off. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I wanted to. It was something I had written down that I felt was like was uh spot on with that. What you truly believe will come out. You know what I'm saying? Every time. And uh, what are you talking about, man? It's like it's so true because what you truly believe is, is really gonna come out. Uh, whatever internally you dealing with beliefs while like beliefs right because what you believe about yourself internally you know what I'm saying you got out of mask it but eventually it's gonna come out you know what I'm saying and I feel like um, you know that's called breakthrough breakthrough right and I think sometimes you have to realize because you we were talking about like the separation and things like that and I think like you have to know what you align with you know what I'm saying and interesting you have to know what you align with and i i call it like you know i call it like um for instance like maybe maybe i'm going off on a tangent i'm just gonna flow with it what what commandments do you live by you know what i'm saying because or what beliefs do you live by you know what i'm saying your belief system about yourself determines who you align yourself with like for me i mean for you i heard you say before that you don't smoke you don't drink so you don't align yourself with people that do now you don't discriminate on feel like against people that don't but it's like you're not about to be in a cut with people that's just like doing nah. that hanging out blah 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 and i think that's because of what uh like what your beliefs are on the inside for whatever reason you believe that and it's been validated on that fact and that's why you don't associate with those types of crowds or those types of environments that's you know what i'm saying it's interesting you say that man i don't mean to cut you off you you read about that though it's in this this whole conversation it's when you know you're talking about stuff that you're supposed to be talking about because like things from throughout the day start to align with what you're talking about now I, I was talking to my son right and so i had a i had a conversation with him and he plays uh he plays soccer he plays for two teams so I guess I never thought about this before. He plays soccer and football, but you know, in doing so, when you out when you out there to do your job, that's what I say. I call it I always talk to the you know talk to the players, and I say you got to do your job. Mm -hmm. When you out to perform on a job or to do your job, as we call it, you know, one thing that one thing that you can't forget is the fact. It's easy to look at, like, for example, I'm, I'm pointing out my son here because this is the conversation we just had today. I told him, I said, man, I expect more out of you. As a father, as a father, as a teacher, as a, as a coach, it could be, your job could be very tough, especially when you're a coach slash father of a player that's on your team. Right, because right. you could be overcritical of certain things. And it's like, I battle with I battle with myself often. Not just excluding just like my, my child, but I, I battle with myself all the time because I'm always in conflict with my mind because my mind can be split on two different things. Mm -hmm. I could be doing one thing and then after I've done one thing I go back and I think about what I've done and I say, could I've could I have handled that better? Or why did I choose to handle it like that? Or you was too hard on them. You was too hard on yourself. And then I get to thinking about it. First of all, you got to be okay with the decision that you made. Right. You got to stick to it. You got to be decided. Yeah. You, you made the decision. You got to go with it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you figure out that you made a mistake after the fact, it's always cool and it's always good to go and apologize. You can't be too proud to apologize. Right. 1,000. Now, getting back to what I was about to say. So with him... 
my something something in me just had me to ask a question I never thought to ask him before. But I simply asked him because the game didn't go it didn't go how I felt his game should have went. When I'm talking about his game, I'm talking about the game within the game. Him participating within the game. Um, I feel like he's a difference player. I think I feel like he's an X factor. And I'm just, I'm not just saying this because he's my son, but because of what I've seen from him, mm-hmm. his potential. Um, so with the, with the, while the game was going on, I stopped and I'm like, man, what's going on with you, man? You're not even running hard. You're not hustling. You're not. I'm like, your effort level isn't there. Then his response was this. I'm trying to save a little bit of it for the next game. <laughs> So if you think about it from that point, is that it, it kind of like it shifted my gut. It, it was gut wrenching to me. It, w- it was almost disrespectful when I heard it because I'm like, in a sense, that's an arrogance to even feel like the next game is promised to you, right? And on the ride home, like trying to trying to relate this to a you know to a ten year old, somebody that's been in the in the world for a decade. It's like that's that's it's hard to relate a message, man. One thousand percent. Hey, okay. So, son, which about what you said earlier? Let, let's talk about that. Because do you feel like you satisfied with? Okay, because he had a goal before the game. Do you even feel like you met your goal? Right. He didn't meet his goal, but. Are you okay with being able to walk off of a field and say, nah, I didn't give it up my all because I was getting, I, I was going to get ready for the next game. And just so happened, this is how God works things in mysterious ways. What he felt he was going to hold back for the next game, he didn't even get a chance to play in the next game. My point is this here. I started to ask him on the, on the way to the next, to that next game. I said, man, what's your why? Why do you why do you even play the game? What brings you your level of excitement about the game? What gets you motivated within the game? Why do you even feel like it's even worth playing the game? Like what's your why? Mm-hmm. Like why are we doing this? And I, I I asked him that. I'm like, you know, think about it long and hard. Like, you know, you know, why? Like what That's an important it? question to ask, man. You know, yeah. And so, you know, I'm playing it because I need to be getting, I, I need to become a better runner. I say, if that's the case, son, to be honest with you, you fail the team. You failing yourself even being out here for that reason. Because if you're looking at it from that perspective, you simply using this as a means to just get in shape, then to be honest with you, at this point, it's you a liability to the team because your heart's not in it. You never said anything about a love for the game or any of that. Right. Now, if I told you, yeah, we can use this as a tool to get in shape, that's one thing. But you should never, you never go off of what somebody else says. It's why, what's your why? Right. Why do, like, what's your investment into the game? What's your connection to the game? Like, why even do it? <clears throat> That's a very good question, man. And um, I believe that that. Oh, sorry. I no, don't no, go ahead, you. man. I, I yeah. feel like you know, in this world, you know, even dealing with this God complex or whatever we have going on, it is like, cause alignment. What are we aligning? Like what you were talking about earlier. What are we aligning ourselves to? Right. If we aligning ourselves to 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 a, a leader that's up under this umbrella of a God complex, or just. Even if it's a child that's in elementary, middle, or high school, if they're aligning themselves to a person that's a bully, that makes you no better than a bully, even if you're not bullying. But if you're laughing, you're endorsing it. If you're not, you know, we got to we got to stop and we really got to we we got to evaluate things, you know. We got to evaluate it on uh, certain levels because yeah. there's levels to everything. 100%. And the thing about it is like, you know, what I'm questioning is this here. Like when we like when we get beneath the ground on a subject, like some, and it's funny because everybody, oh, but that boy just said something deep. 
That's because he just went beneath the <laughs> ground or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes the ground could be hard, man. But again, like we were talking about before, you can't just plant in any type of soil. Man. You got to break that thing up, man. You got to get the ground ready. It's got to be ready to receive the seed. If the ground is unwilling to receive the seed, then that's telling you right now, that's hard ground. Don't even don't 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 yeah, fight don't that. Don't waste your time. That's <clears throat> it. Broken fingers isn't you know that that's <laughs> what can you do with that? <laughs> exactly. Now you didn't learn a lesson that you didn't never have to look. You just look at it. Look at it. You know what I'm saying? Rock right. sticking out the top, brother. <laughs> leave that alone. But it's my amazing. point is, it's like I really want to like if the world looked the same. If the world looked the same, we didn't have racism. If the world looked the same, as far as, you know, everybody, everybody's look was the same, but different attributes within the person changed, then, you know, if we, if we got beneath the ground of that situation, what would truly exist? Hmm. Because the, the things that we still struggle with today, you'll still find certain seeds of that same thing in that type of world too. Right. Because one thing about it, just like you have good, you can always have evil. And all of these things will exist. But the thing about it is like, how do we, how do we get to a point to where we can better recognize what's going on? The, the issue with today, and to be honest with you, it's probably harder now in this type of world that we live in. Because like we were saying, man, well, you know, when you went back and when you went over those definitions, it's like, man, it's so spread out. Right. It's so spread out. So it's like, man, up on the one, you know, up on the one column, then you have multiple different yeah, things man. going the on. The whole umbrella effect. It, exactly. Yeah. So with that being said, yeah, you know, everybody focused on racism, but, you know, it's like, man, it's bigger than just racism. 100%. Because prejudice is in there. And then you got, you know, um, bigotry. Bigotry in there. Mm hmm. And with those two different things, it's like, man. They got their own subsection. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Just, you know, you you can look at somebody and you say, I'm not hiring him. Well, bro, why you ain't hiring him? He a brother too, ain't it? I ain't saying nothing about him being a brother. I could care less about him being a brother. So now racism isn't is right. the issue. So why you ain't hiring him? Man, first of all, just look at him. He's not. He doesn't look the part. Mm -hmm. What you mean it doesn't look the part, bro? Like what? Like what, what you see? Look at him. I mean, yeah, he might. Yeah, he do look a little rough around the edges, but still, the knowledge is there. How you figured that looking brother right there? He has knowledge. So now you going off of the shell of mm -hmm. what you see. You didn't even take the time to even have a conversation with this brother. You can't make it past the shell. The shell has you right there at the door, the shell. Right. Uh-uh. He's not coming in this office. <laughs> but that's, that's how real. the world, that's how the world that's operates real. a lot of times. Before you even invite somebody into your door, you won't even let them knock at your door. Let them, now, listen to what I just said. Before you even invite them into your door, you're not even allowing them to knock at your door. Mm -mm. I'm telling you right now, Bobby, you bring him to my office, I'm firing you in. I'm, I'm having him escorted off the prison. Dog, why you gonna, you gonna treat the man now like he a criminal? Mm -hmm. He looks like one anyways. Looks. It's the looks, man. The looks, bruh. Bruh. Does the looks bring the crooks or are the crooks actually the ones that present the looks? Hmm. That's a good question, man. <clears throat> I think the crooks present the looks, but you can also imitate something that brings on that connotation. So you saying that the you say the crooks bring the looks, right? The crooks bring the looks. Mm -hmm. But again, the crooks bring the looks. The crooks bring the uh, the looks is what you say, right? So. But if you already labeled a crook and you haven't done anything, you still gonna be presented with looks regardless. True, true. You know what I'm saying to somebody. That's what, you I'm, know saying. what I'm saying. That's true, man. I think it go back to what you said though. Like you gotta be yourself because if that's truly who you are, then 
it's going to come outward because it goes back to what we were talking about. What you truly believe is going to manifest outward. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what defines it to a certain degree. You know what I mean? Like, look at Toby, uh, Nguigwe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My man got the locks, my man. You know what I'm saying? But what what he truly believes comes out in his music. It's and it's, like, and it's, very, it's full of, of, of uh, substance. And it's just, you know, it's, it's very much, it, his music is, it's going to always be sustained, man, because uh, it's going to always sustain because it, it's the essence that's in his music. You need to explain who you just call out to. Oh, a lot yeah. Of people don't it's even a, know. It's, a, it's an artist, man. If y'all don't know, just look up to Toby Nguigwe. You know, how to spell his last name, I'm not too sure. But type in Toby, I choose you. And then it's a plethora of music going to pop up. Yeah. That's going to put you in the game. Um, I do think that, like, that's an important. That's a that's an interesting thing that you're talking about, though, know, E, because we all do it, and you know we all have these. Uh, I don't know what to call them. Like we all have these certain things that catch our eye or turn us off of certain people. Prejudices, prejudices, and prejudices. bigotices, uh, bigotry. bigotry. Or, you know what I'm saying? Well, and that's what I wanted to get to, man. Because that's true, though. Cause I, I do it I, Yeah That's what I'm about to say I mean? Everybody has it in them <laughs> I, And I hate to say it I, Anybody that's a human Has Right An ounce of this stuff in them And more than an ounce sometimes I mean let's Let's be honest Especially like being a parent Right It's just We, we come equipped uh, with it bro. Because If you don't look the par mm -hmm. Then how you gonna ask To take my You know To take my daughter's hand in marriage Bro like Nah Brother, hold on. That the whole time out. Right. Wait a minute. We gotta get some straight. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Can I present some straight in here, <laughs> uh, son? Do you even do you own a button down shirt? <laughs> you feel me? Come on, man. You, you first of all, you got a belt. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. For I have to on, use man. mine. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> it's like, man. But Bruh. like, it's. Now you, listen to how we talking right. though. Can you shake my hand? It, it, you know what I'm saying? With some strength. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like no, like that. But, but it's that's funny a real because thing. yeah, we I'm gonna test you by, but uh, <laughs> exactly because if you ain't God. strong enough and you can't, even, but see, now we asking you to prove it to us through a handshake. <laughs> but you could be the strongest man in the building, right. and no matter who shake your hand, it's always gonna be, right. you know, questionable it, to you. you. Know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But now you know what I'm saying. But not just because of who hand is shaking your hand. You like no, this is un not unacceptable. Right, man. But what happens if this brother shook your hand and he was stronger than you? Mm. Here comes the next thing. That's a, that's your issue. Now nah, you can't see him. <laughs> Daddy, why? I mean, he shook your hand with. I know that's one of your tests. He shook your hand with. It's besides the point. Right. It's but be now it's besides else. the point. Now he too strong. You feel like he want to take your place. <laughs> it's always an issue. It's hilarious, dog. No, it's you laughing, but it's, funny, it's people dog. out here, bro. And it's like it's that complex, bro. Everybody deals with a a, a different complex, bro. Yeah, man. It's like man for for a dude that look at it, he looks at himself like he the king of the throne. You know what I'm saying? And nobody, you know what I'm saying? First of all, you know your time is always limited. Oh yeah. It's it, everybody, man. No matter what, you know what 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 what. what Whatever type of era, um, rank, kingdoms, bro, it's it's all it all functions under the reign of an era, and just like just like pack clouds, bro, drop rain after you know when those when those clouds do what they do, man, that's it, man. The rain is over. Guess what? Your rain over. Hundred percent. But not, and that's and that's crazy too. It's like, and that's also that God complex. Now people start thinking. How can I extend my era? How can I extend, you know, what I have, what I've built upon? Right. And that's when it gets dangerous because now you didn't had the, you didn't had an opportunity to function and, and, and to build out and you know what I'm saying, and schematically you've built this great empire, whatever. You know, a lot of people can't ever say they even did what you've done. But you should be cool with that, but it you're not cool with that because now, nah, whoever said my era was over, nah, it's I just put starting. too much time in. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I worked too exactly. hard. Exactly. Now you thinking, how can I find a fountain of you? I need to regain what I once had so that nobody uh, uh, ever comes stepping to me like I'm old and, and, and decrepit or whatever. It's like now we start looking for more. Right. And it's like, 
that's oftentimes that's what gets us in trouble, man, because, you know, enough isn't enough. It becomes a chase for more. Enough isn't enough. It becomes a chase for more. The chase for more. I think that's interesting too, man, because like the chase for more, you know what I mean? Um, whatever complex you said that you're dealing with, I think that's what drives that. You know what I'm saying? Whether it may be financially based or educational wise, whatever the case may be, material wise, like whatever your complex is, your I w- deficiency is a strong word, but whatever you felt like you was deprived of, sometimes you have to overcompensate. Overcompensate. And I think you have to understand first, it all starts like for me, like it all starts about what you believe, why you believe it. You know what I'm saying? Like you said with your son, man, you had to question that. You know, why are you doing what you're doing? What's the reason behind it? Because your goals should align with your thoughts. You're right. It's okay. Being in the Marines, right? right? If you didn't know why you were doing something, but you were sent out to do it anyways. Right. What would make you more effective? If you knew why, your why, if you had a purpose of why you were doing it, or just being a guinea pig, pretty much, and just being sent out there and told to do an assignment. That's true. It'd probably be more, I got to know what's going on. If not, I'm going to create my own why. You know exactly. Exactly. And that could be a dangerous why. Then on top of that, you want to know why, too, because it helps out with planning, just being strategic, 100%. more, you know what I'm saying, more tactical. You got to have a know why. So you go in, it's no different than being on a football field or being wherever in life. To know your why, to know your purpose for being there. Right. You even it, it helps out to 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 this degree, even just to understand where you fit in into the bigger picture, just to understand that you present, uh, you know, you present a unique color to this to this masterpiece that would not otherwise exist had not you even been there. Yeah, that makes you even want to be a part of the masterpiece. Oh, fact, facts. What, what you want me to line up at? Yeah, you know what True, I'm saying. One hundred percent. It's like, bro, people got the. People got to understand why they're there. Otherwise, now, go, ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, too, I think it's a twofold thing to where you got to know why you're there, um, but you have to go through moments of understanding, like, you have to go through moments of being positioned in places that you don't understand why you're there to figure out how to, how to, all right, so like in the military, right? It might have been some things I didn't agree with, and I'm like, I don't like, I don't like being made to align with people like this. You know what I'm saying? The reason I, the reason, part of the, sometimes the reason the situations I got in was because I didn't know my why. Somebody, somebody else had to tell me my why. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Going through those moments throughout life, whether it be military, just life uh, experiences, then you start to figure out how to define your why. Does that make sense? I mean, I, it does to a degree. Um, I feel like this here. I feel like God brings people into your life and with it with a lot oftentimes for us the way that we hear it is more so people are suggesting our why to us. Right, right, right. Maybe you might not you might not like this, but maybe your why may be this. You know, or you know, brother, like really when you think about it, man, man, you great at this, you great at that. Why don't you just go ahead and just go down this this path right here that, you know, again, it's more so of a suggestion. And that well, maybe that's how we accept it is through the suggestion. And then mm-hmm. we it, it makes us it it provokes our thought process. Exactly. Like, hmm, maybe. You know, you know what I'm saying? Could, you could pull from But when somebody tells you your why, a lot yeah. of times, if you like me, naturally I'm fighting against it. Bro, you ain't gonna tell me what I'm gonna do, bro. That ain't, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> Wait on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel you on that. But sometimes what happens with that, when somebody tells you your why, and then you like how I am to a degree, you fight against it, and all of a sudden, well, you just keep getting beat in the head. You're like, Lord, it's getting hard. It's getting hard. It's getting hard. <laughs> Maybe I might need to just try <laughs> You know, so it's it's like that. That's true. The ebbs and flows, you know what I'm saying? Both sides. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how, like, when you, as you was talking, that's how I was picturing it in my head because it's like, it's, it would, like, when you put it like that, you know, I'm in the Marine. I'm in the Marines, or whatever branch of service you go to, it's going to be a contract involved. You know what I'm saying? And when you're obligated to a contract to that degree, some things you're going to be told to do. You know what I mean? And it's because of why they choose to do it. 
and their purpose and what it aligns with with their goals. So it's like throughout that process, you know, I pulled from a bunch of things, I learned from a bunch of things, but I realized like, yo, I need to find something. I need to, or maybe in that I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, one of my goals. But now I need to um, find another avenue to get to my why. You know what I'm saying? You're right. And I think it just it just goes through experiences. Like you have to have experiences because you're not gonna automatically come out knowing it, obviously. But at the same time, you have to get more intentional about you know your why and like why that's uh why that's necessary. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Maybe I went down the right no, road. No, 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 no. It, it does. Quick question, and, I, and I'm, I'm gonna get up off this. Why do you think the God complex exists? Uh, deficiencies. You know what I'm saying? Like just weaknesses in yourself or things that you were deprived of early on. So overcompensation mm-hmm. creates this 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 monster. That's what I think, man. And you have if you don't, you know, sometimes you uh you gonna react to it, obviously. How you or excuse me, you gonna react to it, but you should learn how to respond to it. Maybe they the same thing, but I heard it like people pe- pe- use people use it in different ways. Reacting to something and then responding to something. I feel like responding takes a little bit more forethought. I think uh repeat that. I think when you react to something, reaction and response may be the same thing, but I think responding takes a little bit more forethought than reaction. I think you kinda like process it a little bit differently. Definitely. I, I definitely agree with you. Simply because when you think about it, man, reaction, sometimes reactionary time. I right. mean, people have a, a, a supernatural gift of reaction sometimes. You could throw a ball and quit. Yeah, it's just man, catch it's it. just a, yeah. It's just, and, and it's not even that you thought about it. You didn't even have time to think about it. You just could have saw it coming like at a blinker. Right. And you just naturally, you got your hands up and you caught it. But to respond, Oftentimes, to when you're responding, that's when you have to fix your mouth to say something. Yeah. And oftentimes, that's when time is given for you to think about what you're going to say before you say it. Hundred percent. It's like, man, anybody, man, that's that dealing with, especially going into certain situations, you already know you're dealing with tricky people. And let me be very cognizant of what I'm saying, right? Because I don't want this to be misconstrued one way or the other. Hundred percent. How we get on that topic? Well, would you ask me to? Uh for you to say that I mean for me to say why, that Why do you think The God complex is this Oh yeah Because I think um, So like To get back To get back to that I think What what happened to us Early on in life Whether it was By fault of ours Or whether it wasn't We React to it Because It just happened to us And then We didn't learn How to deal with it You know what I mean It could be bullying Some, It ain't even gotta be, be Nothing major It could be bullying I feel I'm scared of snakes I got stuck in a small sp- in a closet one time. I'm scared of this. So it's like, it, it it as you go through life, you're gonna experience these again, and all you learn from it was reaction because it was your first time experiencing it. Maybe you deal with it, maybe you didn't. But if you don't learn how to respond to these things, then it's gonna affect you in a different way. Interesting. So is it the manifestation of an answer to a problem? What in in that person's mind? Right. An answer to a problem. Right. Survival. That yeah, but it's extreme measure. Right, 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 right. It's like to the point to where, you know, like you said earlier about when you overcompensating, right? It's like you start to stretch. You start to really stretch it mm-hmm. from one point. But then in a sense, on the other side, it is really a weakness for you that you you sell all, you know, you give everything. You Pushing put all, all your chips, chips in. The table. Yeah, it's, man. Wow. <laughs> same, on the same hey, on the same thing with it but it's like you put it all out there and then all of a sudden it's like man hey man I ain't got nothing else to lose at this point it's all or nothing mm-hmm. and all you showing is all but it's like somebody else now is looking at it like this is absolutely nothing right, right. but you giving it your all and you have everybody your followers like Hitler it's like if you look at his story too it's like the reason why he became the way he was, first of all, that's the story to a lot of so-called villains or how you know, however you perceive to be a, a bad guy, however. Mm-hmm. It's like the hero story and the villain story isn't really, it's not really different, really, other than the choices and the way that they go about doing it. Right. It's either, and they, uh, they <laughs> Sometimes it's extreme both ways. The villains 
the villain could be extreme, uh, extreme negative, and the, and the hero could be extreme positive. Right. But it's like they really, in a sense, they selling out on what they believe in. And it's like you look at it and you like, huh? Really, it's not much difference here, mm-hmm. other than their thought process of how they chose to go about doing it. Right. It, and that's where it's different at. A hundred percent. So, you know, it is the day we talking about the God complex and, and a lot of people looking at themselves and, and, and feeling like, you know, hey, well, if it don't look like me, if it don't sound like me, then it's wrong. Because oftentimes in those people, they found too many gray areas in which people have been able to exploit this and that. So they say, you know what? We're going to cut out all this. Now you're going to listen to me and how I do things. And in order for that to happen, oftentimes they get in a, in a, in a place of power so that they can be the only voice being heard right. or else it's an extreme to shut somebody else up it's an extreme method that they use to go about that or a rat of, you know a lot of people like to eradicate people that go against their beliefs mm-hmm. that's what creates this this you know this crazy this this god complex a lot of times and oftentimes man what i'm saying in this world man it's a, it's a great it's a it's a big world out here and granted, everybody not going to always agree on things. Sometimes it's, it's cool to just agree to disagree. But in doing so, we just, you know, we just want to leave. We, we, we want to end this podcast by saying this here. Challenge yourself to really, to question your why. Question your why. And really and truly be open-minded enough to understand where you have a significant level of weakness And when you question your why Line it up and you question What your weakness is And see how can you work on your weaknesses And see what your why is Whatever your why is Your purpose of being here And then you think about whatever your weakness is Then align yourself with somebody That in a sense Your weakness is their strength And your strength May be their weakness And be open minded enough to just really like get down to it and bounce, you know, just bounce bounce off ideas, you know, among one another. And again, you know whether you know whether or not it sound right to you and if it sound wrong to you. Be cognizant of both of those things. But all we saying is just here. It's time for us to to really like step out and, and build towards, you know, um diversity. You, you you need diversity in these communities and make things go. You know, if you may if you may have a, a a resource that somebody else doesn't have, share your resource. Be cool with sharing that resource. I know your time is limited, bro, so I'm gonna go ahead on that note. I'm a Hey man, I appreciate it, man. That was that was dope, bro. So this has been a real talk podcast. Uh, tune in next Thursday <clears throat> excuse me, tune in every Thursday, man. Every Thursday, new episode. Share it, like it, tell somebody about it. This is the Real Talk Podcast, man. Peace. Peace. We appreciate you giving us a listen. If you like this episode and would like to engage with us or support, reach out through our social media platforms, linked in the description, and tune in every Thursday to check out new episodes. See you next week.